Yes. Let me ask you something. The other day, did you do a quest called A Tingling Taste? That was for me. Thanks for taking care of it. For part of a little side project, I had asked the head honchos to get me a great Jiro's Fang. What did I use it for? Let's just say I made something a little demonic. Go to the canteen in Astera to have a look when you have some time. Run along now. Welcome back everybody to Monster Hunter World. Last time, we took down the monsters of the Elder's Recess, including everybody's all-time favorite boy, the best boy, Dodogama. Very fun. Ah, Hunter, what a miraculous timing. I have a little job for you. There's a certain something that we in the third simply cannot resist, and I would like your help here in whipping some up. If you do this for me, I'll make sure the fruits of your labors are well stocked in Asteris Candeen. The only catch is this needs to be kept between you and me, understand? No leaks, no rumors, nothing. I don't need to give those rascals back in Astera the wrong idea. They already assume we talk about nothing else here. A master's toast. A thunder sack. Ah, I do not have that. Dang. So, today's agenda is we're going to take down the last remaining tier 1 monsters, but also we did get those quests for some new specialized tools. We're going to do those as well. Starting up first, a new monster as well. The Red and Blue Crew. Here at the Second Fleet, we've been working to develop new tools to help you hunt your hunts, but we need your help gathering the materials. We're counting on you to take this quest. We gotta hunt a Rathalos and the new and subspecies uh, as your Rathalos. This is gonna be great because you know they're both gonna just be chilling in the ancient forest and you know they're probably gonna be a team so it's gonna be super obnoxious to deal with the both of them and we don't actually have a great gauge to know how powerful Azure Rathalos will be but we took down Rathalos and we're using the aerial weapons so this shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. I am gonna go to my item box and replenish my items because oh boy we're gonna need them. Definitely gonna bring... <laughs> no berries are kind of whatever. Um, I don't want to deal with both of them, so I'm going to capture one of them, but I'll kill the other. So, bring our usual stock of items, and we're good to go. Wait, did this, did this bring me near one of them? Or just near the... No, okay. Well, we'll get some free armor spheres. This is okay. Can never hurt to have more. Well, same thing. Now, we've never actually even spotted an Azure Rathalos, so he's not going to show up. And I don't have anything on Rathalos enough to actually find him. So, I will just kind of, as usual, meet you once I've actually managed to track them both down, or at least one of them down, because they're going to not be the easiest monsters to find. Oh, hey! Wait, no! 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 Ugh! All right, we finally tracked him down. What we are hoping for is that by fighting Rathalos, he'll kind of lead us to, to Azure Rathalos. At least that's what we can hope for, for the most part. All right, let's see how this goes. Dealing with Rathalos. Hopefully we handled this a little bit better than we did last time. I'm not getting good positioning on him and I also have not ate a meal. That's going to hurt me a little bit. But I'm hoping. He is still weak to thunder, so I stick. I still kept our lightning uh, kinsect to help us out a little bit more. Come on, Rathalos.
Just go down. Get stunned a little bit. Hey. I'll take a vine trap. I still need you to lead me to your brother. Not that they're like specifically related. I'd always just kind of assume they are because, you know, they're both Rathalos. The Rath brothers. This is going pretty well, actually. Well, spoke too soon. <laughs> and this is why, friends and family, we bring herbal medicines! That I couldn't pop fast enough to save my life. Well, that's unfortunate. Now, I do actually have the Vitality Mantle, but I'm actually saving that for when we fight Azure, because I know he's going to be the harder Rathalos to fight. Because we know we can take down Rathalos. We just have to... I mean, I the Mantle would probably refresh itself by the time I fought Azure, but... I still don't want to, like, play that risky. Just in case. As Rathalos manhandles me. Tossing me around. Lucky that attack doesn't really do any damage, and Rathalos is a little bit slow on the uptake. I mean, he does that, but that's honestly some of his weak, like one of his weaker attacks that doesn't do a ton of damage unless you're super weak to fire. Also, I okay. There's white, but I need red from your face. Thank you. I'm really hoping we can get like the down, like I can hit him enough in the air to kind of knock him down, but nope, he's going to get away. That's fine, we need to resharpen anyway, so this actually works out in our favor. Hopefully Rathalos is not going to run too far away. Uh, let's top off our health with a potion. Oh yeah, he didn't, he didn't go very far. He's still very close by. Probably should eat a meal. I'm gonna eat a meal in between fighting Rathalos and Azure. I'll do that. Okay. I want my Kinsect to kinda tag you. That way he can get some of that Thunder Element off on you. I wish I could get high enough off Rathalos' body to kind of do more damage to his wings. If I can break his wings, he can't fly as high. Alright. We're not dying from it this time. Get that Mega Potion, get us back to full. He's not in rage, but it's going to be tough to find an opening to get him. Because for how much Rathalos does fire breath attacks. Alright, the, right, this will be fine. This will give us a chance to get our extracts back up and knock them down. Get that good mount aerial free damage. Although we are running out of stamina. Okay, there we go. It actually worked. While he's done, I'm only going to get the red extract. Alright, now let's get the rest of them. Got it. Now we're back to full power again. Oh, but now he's enraged. Hey! Just can't catch a break. Breathless, you can land any time. Alright. Now the other thing that is important to know, as I have said in the past, because there are two monsters that we're supposed to hunt, not Rathian. Rathian's just gonna be super annoying. Because this is hunting Rathalos and Azure Rathalos, they actually have less natural health. So this Rathalos is not as beefy as the one we fought last time. But I mean He's still a tough monster, so he's not going to go down without, you know, some kind of fight. So in between Rathi and Leave Me Alone and Rathalos, let's resharpen back up to full blue just so we have maximum sharpness. Keep our damage multiplier up as high as we can for as long as we can. Vigor Boss is a free heal on our way 
kind of like a like a grab like a grab and go snack <laughs> on our way to go dish out the pain got to have a little little pick me up where is he going is he going back to his nest I think so there's no way Rathalus is that close to being dead there's no way I mean, I don't have any tracks on him to actually know if he's almost dead, but yeah, I think he's... I think he might be... See, I don't like that sound. I don't think I actually ever know what that even is, but it's a little freaky to hear that. Yeah, I think... Yeah, Rathalus is almost defeated. Also, he never brought us to his brother. What a jerk. Just for that, I'm not going to give you the mercy of death. Gonna just capture you. Okay, well, with Rathalos captured and defeated, I now have to somehow find his brother, whose location I do not know. So I will meet you whenever, whenever Azure shows up, or I just locate him. Also, Rathian, can you? be like literally any le uh. you are not even the target monster why are you even bothering me god I'm glad you got caught in that landslide you jerk ah uh, okay so it would seem that as your rathos was never actually here he only shows up after so much time has passed it seems there are some quests like that in the game where monsters will only show up after, like, because we had two target monsters, Azure was never actually here. He only showed up after so long. So since I defeated Rathalos technically fast enough, it never actually, like, we had downtime in between Azure showing up because I defeated Rathalos so fast. But if I took longer to defeat Azure than, or Rathalos, then Azure would have shown up, even with Rathalos still fighting and, you know, probably at that point kicking our butt. You assume. So yeah, now we have found Azure. I did not eat a meal because I'm not using big brain energy. And we're going to just try to fight him as is. We're going to try to just fight him like this. But I did save my Fatality Mantle for this moment specifically. So... If he kills me, he kills me. If he doesn't... Oh, hey. <gasps> Ooh, he starts off sleeping. This is actually pretty... Oh. Ben, no. Do not do not get away, please. This is kind of stupid. Okay. Alright, well, I did not capitalize on that. And as you're showing no mercy already... As the battle has merely just begun. And he's already showing us he is definitely the scarier brother. Alright, I'm not going to fight him on that narrow platform out there. Hopefully he'll come down here and fight me. In this more enclosed area. He does. Good. I'd rather fight him here where water is. To make it a little bit easier on myself. All right, good, we knocked him down. All right, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, that still hit us. And he does, as you see, he does a lot more damage than his brother, despite Rathalos being an apex predator. Azure is no pushover, not even in the slightest. If I can actually get more slinger ammo, I could knock him down again. But there's no slinger ammo here, so this could prove a problem. Luckily, I can claw attack. The insect wave is a light weapon. It will drop slinger ammo for me. Really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot him with a bomb. To stun him just long enough to knock him into the wall again.
Ooh, we got the down on him by hitting him in the head. He is in rage though, so now he's gonna be even more dangerous to fight. Like so. This is where definitely having health boost again and eating a meal would have been the way smart, like smarter uh, strategy. But you know what's what what strat? What is strategy? I don't even know how I'm gonna like. Oh hey, I got red. Oh hey, we got all the we got all the extracts. I do have to be careful with my aerial game because he does have those aerial strikes kind of like that where he can still hit us in the air. And that's what I need to be careful of. Was that happening? And that's how strong he is. I would I would recommend bringing health boost. The Rathian helmet that I had was good. I did upgrade my charm, but I haven't equipped it yet that gives me health boost level 2. I would definitely recommend bringing those. I'm actually just going to go for the chef's choice. No attack of large, but health up 50 because we're going to need it. We cannot afford to die again. And I'll meet you back where Azure was located because he has now smacked me farther away. All right, Azure, I'm back for my revenge. And this time I will be victorious. I refuse to lose to you again. I think he's going for Milo. I think that's why he, like, moved away. Oh, well, what? I honestly have no idea how we even got the mount. It didn't even look like we hit him. And the game just gave me the mount. That was kind of kind of strange. I'll take it, though. All right. Let's bring him down. Let's ground the brother. I defeated your brother, and I will defeat you. Oh, he's, he's angry again. Oh, whoa, that was a direct shot out of the air. A direct hit. Yeah, and Azure plays with a lot more fire attacks than his brother. So that's also one thing to watch out for as well. That's why I'm not being as greedy with some of my attacks. Especially, the, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, stun, you need to wait. Oh, Milo with the save. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Milo just saved our life. Okay, so because I'm actually at one death, I am going to play this safe. I know I still was going to capture one, but I'm actually going to go back into the tent at camp here. Since I know Ezure is going to come to the top, he should, or around there. I am not going to change equipment. I am going. Yeah. To manage your inventory. I'm going to grab my other shock trap, and I'm going to capture him because with one death and for how strong he is, I don't want to risk us dying and failing. Because if we die, then I have to fight Rathalos all over again, and that's not going to be fun. So I'm going to just wait. Yeah, Azure is down there. He's not at the very top, but he hides in this little, like, nest just below it. And I'm going to wait just to make sure he goes to sleep. Just to make sure. Because I want to make sure he's asleep. That way he won't be a pain to capture. Okay, no, he's still limping. This will be fine. This is acceptable because he won't try to fight me while he's limping away. And there we go. The Wrath Brothers have been defeated. Yeah, so Azure Wrath, the Wrath Brothers are very infamous for flying around. The other problem with Azure specifically is he is definitely a lot better of a mixed fighter. He uses a lot of physical attacks. He's very reliant on his fighter, fire attack, so he's... He's very dangerous in the fact that he's a very great mixed attacker. He's very tough to fight. 
And look at all that free Rathalos material. Some Rathalos material, some of the Azure stuff, some, some new stuff. Not too bad. Now we do have one more monster to take down. One more monster of tier one. And it's my favorite. We have to take down. Well, that Diablos. We've gotten a disturbing report of an unusually powerful Diablos appearing in the wild's fire waste. Begin your investigation ASAP, but beware of its charging attacks. Yep, now we're fighting Diablos. Now, there is a camp. There's one camp in the wild's fire waste we have not found. But I am not going to lie to you, I'm not the best at remembering how to get there. I'll look for it and see if we can show it off because it's in—it's literally in that same area where Diablos is located. So I'll see if I can find it. Oh, I'll, also, I should probably be smart and restock my items before I just jump into this. So, restock our usual... Oh, I don't have any more uh, Mega Potions. Good thing I've got all that honey I've been saving up. And that's why you use the ancient tree, my friends, in the uh, in, in the Astera to craft yourself some honey. We don't need our um, poison. We actually don't need no berries either. We don't need those. Bombs are fine. I'm not going to capture Diablos, but I will bring a shop track because he is susceptible to it. So it'll be a useful tool to use. And I'm going to bring Screamer Pods. I don't think it'll give, it to a, give these to us in this quest, but the Screamer Pods are great against Diablos because... When he burrows underground, we can knock him back up, and you'll see it. It'll be very good. So definitely, if you have any of those, bring them. If you don't have them, just meld three of them at the Elder Melder and bring them with you. They're really, they'll be really helpful on this. Oh, I guess we're, well, okay, so we're near Diablos, but I want to see if I can find that camp. Because the camp is... You can see it on the map pretty much. It's right there. I think maybe you can get to it from here. Because that's where you drop down. But I, I don't know how to get there from outside. From here. Like, I don't know how to get there unless... There's a way from inside his nest, but I don't think so. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um... I'll probably have to show this near the end of the video as like a little bonus clip of how to get to this camp, because I don't actually know how to get there. Because like, I literally can see it, but I don't know how to get in there is my problem. So for now, I'm not gonna engage with Diablos because I'm gonna go back to camp to eat a meal, because we're gonna we're gonna need it. My only other idea of getting to that camp is maybe if we come out above it and drop down into it. Like maybe that's how you get in there. Is you have to drop into it from above. I mean, either way, we're about to find out. <laughs> we're about to find out one way or the other. Cause it'd be over here. Keep seeing these mysterious blue footprints. Always pick those up. If you ever see them, since you don't know what monster it is, just pick them up. Always great to always great to have. It'll make sense when we get there. So unless it's somewhere over here. Ah. Ta-da. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. And just to check it out, setting up camp in Wildfire Waste 2. Rathian Scale, Monster Bone L. So I can set it up, I just don't have it. Now there is actually another camp in the in Elder's Recess that I stumbled upon that I knew where it was, but I wasn't gonna show it yet. But I'll show you where that is in the map when we go there later. Cause we'll be we'll be going back there. So now I will meet you back after I've eaten a meal where Diablos' location is at. 
It has also dawned on me that I'm a liar. I never bothered to even use the Vitality Mantle against Azure. But I'm not going to make that mistake here because we're we're going to want to use it against Diablos. We're going to definitely want to use it against Diablos. Now I do not recommend playing a bunch of aerial strats for this fight. Because Diablos has such a big hitbox for his body and he has a lot of charge attacks, it's very dangerous, as, as I do it anyways, to use it. I mean, it, it can be good evasion if you can kind of predict an attack coming, but stuff like, like that, and maybe it is actually good to play an aerial game because you can dodge pretty easily. But yeah, always watch out for these charge attacks. They're gonna be very heavy and they're gonna hit real hard. Now, the reason I bought Screamer Pods, when he goes underground again, I'll be ready for it. Why, I thought for sure Diablos would have been the harder monster over Rathalos. For some reason, Diablos seems to be easier. Oh, Turf War, here he Hey, Good to see your show, boys. And Baroth just got destroyed. Was he even like a, oh man, who's gonna win? No, that was kind of obvious who was gonna win. Uh oh. Eh. Gotta watch out for some of these attacks. Also, am I gonna be able to show off the screener pod if I'm not like in the air when he does it? Because it's it's honestly very useful, and I would very recommend it. Okay, I guess I guess I'm in control of this fight. Diablos, you were never in control of anything. I, I'm, cha I'm commanding the flow of this fight. Man, for the monster that's not proving to be much of a challenge, I'm using the Vitality Mantle. But the monster that literally killed us, I did not use the Vitality Mantle. You can clearly tell that when it comes to Strat, I am the I am the pinnacle of strat making. And like always, because the inside glaive for me is a slashing weapon, it's very good to kind of be under Diablos. Although it's actually good he's running away because I was bouncing off his legs at green sharpness, so we need to go back to blue. Like, pretty bad. chase him down. Got these footprints because my research is now maxed out on him. So yeah. If you've noticed in all these last couple episodes we've been kind of stumbling upon these random blue footprints like elder dragon footprints in the field. Even though you don't know what monster those are or even the game the games I'm telling you what they are. Pick them up. Definitely pick them up. Okay, I want Diablos to go underground. I want to show this off. Okay, or he's not. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yep, you just have to shoot the ground and it forces him up and he's stuck in the ground. Yep, but you have to be prepared for it. Like so. We see how great it is, like it stops one of his more annoying attacks. Gives you a good window of opportunity for damage. Definitely a great strat. Now I've been trying to go I've been attacking his head, but it's actually not a good place to attack. His lower his underbelly or his tail is your best bet because the head actually isn't the weakest spot because of the horns. Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna get it this time. It wasn't even coming for me. Weird. Diablos, yeah, you got some bad aim.
Ah, I thought I could air dodge the roar, but nope. Maybe you can, I just made the timing on it's just very strict. I know that the roars are very tough, but you can you can roll through them. As you see me do, it's just tough to do. Yeah. I'm trying really hard not to get hit because I know these attacks are gonna hurt when they do connect. Although what is happening? How is this going so well? Like I'm honestly barely getting hit. Okay, there's a decent hit. Finally. Rook both of wow, this is not going as bad as I thought. Why why was that so much easier? Now, I haven't been completely honest. There is technically one more. Hey, look, a Wyvern Gem. The, the, the rarest item we can actually pull from a monster right now. There is technically one more tier one monster that we could fight. And if you've played the game before and you know who I'm talking about, you know who we would have to fight and deal with. But if I'm being honest, we're gonna save him for another- where is his tail? We're gonna save that monster for later. I think we're pretty outfitted, we're pretty strong. We're not gonna get much stronger, honestly, to fight Nurigagante. So we'll save that final T1 monster for another time. Maybe when we also fight Nurigagante, we'll also fight him as well. But yeah, there is one more monster, and if you know who it is, we're not looking forward to it. Wow, no uh, face stones. Thanks, game. It's because I, I used a voucher, isn't it? It's because I didn't use a voucher. The game knows. It's like, well, you didn't use a voucher, so there you go. And look, I hunted 100 large monsters. Give you an idea of how much you've seen me hunt versus how much I've actually been hunting. Alright, so... With that, I guess we can actually head back to town and turn in some of our bounties and deliveries. Oh, you're here. Well, we didn't actually complete a single bounty, but we can turn in that camp for, you know, the wild spire. So I still never, I have two dragon bone relics. I'll kind of go over these kind of it'll have text at the end when I show off the armor of where to actually kind of find those reliably for the glasses that we have because it uses those or no I think no sorry getting a little confused so the dragon bone relic is a rare bone pile gather from any bone pile so really wherever you can go on the map that you can have easy access to bone piles go there keep reloading in and reloading out and just keep gathering from the bone piles and hopefully you'll get a dragon bone relic that's how you get it i'm thinking of mining out crops but I'll, I'll go over that later the barnos hide plus i need for the eastern camp and elders recess but again i haven't actually showed off that camp location yet so we're not worried about that one this one is very old for coral highlands of the shamos hide like literally low rank shamos i wouldn't worry about this one if you haven't done it it's not a big deal and the master's toast is the thunder sack that i did not have and we did not fight toby karachi Obviously, the only monster we can fight that can give us a Thunder Sack. So, with that, let's finally report to Ecological Research. Ah, there you are. I thought I should tell you. The Admiral asked us to study Nurgigante, and study it we did. We'll put a quest out soon. More importantly, In the meantime, there's something you should know. Based on the evidence you provided, we figured out what it feeds on. And that's elder and that's elder dragons. Shocking, yes, but true. Nergigante feeds on elder dragons. It does explain why we only see Nergigante during elder crossings. And also why it hunted Zora Magro so relentlessly. There's only one way to classify a monster that can't be classified, and that's to toss it into the elder dragon pile. Anyway, I just thought you should know. 
the commander will fill you in on the rest. Good luck out in the field. That's all I've got to say. Now it's on your mind. And all of the information we've upgraded, updated. So, alright, let's go see what the commander's gonna have us do. Over here. Oh, it's you. I have some good news. I just received word from the e ecological research team that they've pinpointed Nergigante's location. Mm -hmm. We've waited a long time for this day to come. Nergigante has been as much a riddle to us as the Elder Crossing itself. For years upon years, we and Nergigante have been eyeing the same prize from opposite shores. Studying our adversary could throw wide, could throw wide the door to the Elder Crossing's deep. Wow, that's a weird way to phrase a sentence. It's, could throw wide the door to. Yeah, I don't like that. Listen up. I want all hunters to begin field work on Nergigante. Sign up for the quest and head for the Elder's Recess. We need to know everything about our target and how it lives. I know you won't let me down. This is it. Us versus Nergigante. The Elder Dragon that feeds on Elder Dragons. Alright. We have our mission. Talk to our handler and take down Nergigante. We will take we will take care of that next time on Monster Hunter World. Hamilton! Hamilton! I never actually talked to you or messed with you. And you only got the one color. You only got the memorial stripes. Well, we'll pet you. 